Hey guys, so today we are doing uh, another Isley Brothers song, and this is uh, Between the Sheets. This is a request from a YouTube user. And um, so, so I've broken down to two ways of, of playing the song. One is with sort of open chords, and the other one is um, sort of more accurate chords, but they're not necessarily open. Okay, so for the first part, the first progression of the song, they start off with an F major 7th, and I'll play it over here. So on the 8th fret, and I'm only playing uh, strings 2 through 5. And you guys can play all of them. And you can play this one if you want, but it sounds a little funny with the 5th. So I would skip this one and just play 1 through 5 maybe. And then E uh, flat ninth, so. so it's these four notes. And then A minor seventh, so either this version or this version. And then G uh, minor seventh, there, either that one or that one. And then C ninth. So it sounds like this. around going through the progression they switch instead of starting with an F major 7 they're gonna start with a B half diminished and this is the better inversion that they play I think so they start there and just these four notes and then the rest of the progression is exactly the same so you go here and then the E Okay, so they go twice around starting with the F major 7th and then twice around starting with the B half diminished. So twice like this and on the third time they switch and the fourth time it just goes to the E and then stops. Alright, so now for the uh, for the second part of the song, so after they do the... Uh, they go to a D uh, minor 7th, and then I think they do a G13. And then a C major 7th, and then A minor 7th. So it goes, system goes up. And then they do that uh, half diminished. Followed by the E flat 9. And then the A again. And then repeat. That's basically the, the right. song. Now for the um, for the version that uses the open chords. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. So we're going to start with an F major seventh, and everything's open, and you don't play the sixth uh, string. Otherwise, it'll you'll get another major seventh, and it sounds pretty horrible. So just play the one through five. This one's open. And then there's an E uh, flat ninth, which we can play here, and it looks like this. So it's an E seventh, and then you're gonna add this note down here. So an E seventh, and added this one, but then you have to switch the fingering. So one way to do it is this way, and you don't have to play this chord, but that's the way they do it. It's this chord, and it sounds really nice. There's some tension there. But if you prefer not to play this one, you can just play an E7. Make sure it's 7th and not full major. So 7th, so. And then A minor 7th. So it's an A minor, and then 7th. And then 
and then G major, I mean G uh, minor seventh here. Either that, like that, or you can play like this. You have to mute this one. So all of them, or just these four. And then you play a C ninth, and I'm emphasizing this one because it's a nice chord. So it's. So it sounds like this. Okay. And then the third time around, it goes to a B half diminished, which is these four. For the second part of the song, they go into a D minor seventh, so dun, 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 and then so it's uh, it's the bottom four strings, so one two three four, and then a G seventh. These are open open chords, and then C major seventh. It's like a it's like a C except without the index. And then A minor. And then the B half diminished. Followed by the E. And another A. So it sounds like this.